She sees you. She sees you. She doesn't care. Okay. Mm. All right, guys. I will obviously post some inspirational shit every day as possible, as soon as possible. As, I mean, as much as I can. But I will tell you guys that I am taking a week off, five, six days, just to get myself back to myself because um, I don't know if anybody else is feeling this energy. It's very like, whew, I'm like not in a good mood. Um, I'm tired. I was like sweaty all day. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sick. There's nothing wrong with me. But I think mentally, I'm, I reached that point where I like, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not going to be fake. I'm not, I can't lie to you. I've been doing a lot of free stuff in my life for people. And I'm at that point with the universe where I'm like, yo, listen, you know, I give back every day. Right. So like, I'm, you know, when you expect the universe to have your back, you just kind of get frustrated. You know what I'm saying? No, no, Luna, not that way. You get kind of frustrated, but I'm not obviously not mad or angry or anything, but go this way, baby. Where are you going in people's yards? Let's go walk. Um, you know, obviously I'm not angry or bitter or any of that, but before I become angry and bitter, I have to take a second. I'm seeing three, three, three right here to get back and just get back to, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, business wise, I got to start figuring out like smarter ways to do shit because um, I love giving back. Like I don't want to charge anybody for classes and I'm not going to, that's just going to be something I do anyway. Even for the herbalist classes, I was saying if people don't got the money, just show up anyway. We'll learn together. But you know, this is like, this is a message, right? A message. You gotta go, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta take care of you. Those of you who are giving and giving and giving and not taking care of yourselves, listen, man. Single mothers or single fathers, I want to give you 100% congratulations and you're so powerful. You're so strong. Luna, walk, baby. Come on. You are so amazing. I know how hard it is. Especially those of us whose um, the fathers are not really, not because we're angry or mad or anything with each other. I have no hate towards anybody. My baby's father, none of it. I got nothing but love for everyone. I really do. And that's the thing about me. No matter how much they hated me for no fucking reason and called me the bad guy, I still have nothing but love for everybody. But those mothers and those fathers out here that we're sitting here and it's us all day long, sure, dark. If I'm if I'm available, yes. Um, we're all day long with our kids. We don't get a second to breathe. We can't do nothing. You know, our kids are bored because other kids are not playing outside no more like they used to. So honestly, we be, we are the shareholders. Like we have to be the ones to be there, pay for everything, take care of them, hang out with them talk to them we got you know and it's not easy because back in the day i remember my mom just like and i'm not saying this in a bad way leaving me at my grandma's house for like four days you know going to my cousin's house for a week and sleeping over that's how life was today though we it's coddle season you know what i'm saying we're coddlers and it's not our fault it's just that we don't got the help like we used to remember back in the day when everybody used to help each other remember like you could actually go to your neighbor and be like howdy neighbor how you doing Remember those days? Okay, those days don't exist today. These kids are cooped up in their rooms. Everybody. Today I had the biggest argument with my daughter. I told her, you got to stop fucking sitting in that room all day, bro. Get out of your fucking room. What are you going to do? You're going to live your life. Listen, I was a teen too. I remember being in my room. But I remember going outside, hanging out, playing with kids. And it's not her fault. That's why I can't even get mad at her. I can't even blame nobody because it's the children. They're in their homes. They're stuck in their fucking rooms. They got no friends to play with. The, the other parents don't trust nobody, which I completely understand. Completely. But it's like, it's crazy out here. Like, it's crazy. And I'm at this point where I'm looking at my, my mission and I'm looking at my star, star C family and I'm like, yo, what happened? And, and like, you know, people are like, oh my God, the internet's going to go out the phone. Good. Good. I hope it goes out for two months. Maybe everybody could get to fucking know each other again. 
Because where the fuck is humanity? Bitch, look at me. I'm so called popular, right? I know so many people. I don't get one, and I'm not complaining. Say I'm poor me, because I could call anybody today and be like, let's go hang out. My point is, nobody fucking chills no more. I'm not, yo, even the teenagers, I'm not, oh, you're 41, Flo, of course, everybody's married with kids. Uh Uh-uh, let's stop for a second, because a lot of people ain't married, and a lot of people are not married, okay? They're single, they're single mothers, and we can't even step out the crib, because our mothers are too fucking selfish to watch the kids today. My mom, thank God, she's the type, if I say I'll leave my daughter for two, three days, she'll do it, you know what I'm saying? She don't mind, but you know, it's my daughter. She don't want me leaving her. As much as she argues with me, mom, I hate you, ah, fuck you, you're so mean, you know what I'm saying? When I try to go somewhere for a day or two, she starts, where are you going? You know what I'm saying? So I know our kids love us because they can't be without us. And that's that's the thing. Today is like, we don't got the support we used to have. And so I'm, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not getting any me time. I I don't get no sexy time. I don't get no me time. I don't get no date time. I don't get no adult time. I'm constantly, listen, man, why do you think I work so much? Why do you think I'm online every day? Because, bitch, I don't got nothing else to do, <laughs> to be honest with you. If I had other shit to do, I wouldn't be online all day. I'd be doing stuff with people, going out. And I completely understand because... I have, well, let's say I have the money and someone else don't. Now they're embarrassed. They don't want to go out because they ain't got the money. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. I ain't got it on me right now. So you know what I'm saying? It's it's difficult. It's difficult to get socialized today. And what's happening is the soul tribes, we're all next to each, we're all, we're here. But we're not next to each other. And everybody's far away. Because right now I could tell you 150 people that I would chill with right now. But they're in London or Scotland or England or, uh, you know, Amsterdam or fucking 10 hours away. You know what I'm saying? They're all far away. You know what I'm saying? It's work. Listen, man, this is why humans are so fucking angry. Have you been out lately, bitch? I haven't stepped in Walmart and I don't know how long it was. I don't like Walmart. I, every time I go in there, I want to kill everyone. I hate it. My body feels funny. I don't feel right. Something happens to me when I go to Walmart or like these places like Target and Walmart. I went there today because my daughter wanted ear pods because she fucking lost one of them, right? This is $100, bitch. This ain't no $40 shit. 100 bucks. I go in Walmart. I'm trying to get me something. I need a pair of tights because, you know, I lo- lo- lost weight, gained weight. Now I'm losing weight again. And nothing fits me. And plus, I'm, I'm one of those people. I don't, listen, I'm going to talk right now because I feel like people are feeling this energy. I don't like thick clothing. Jeans, unless I really have to, I can't do it. Jeans are like, what? I feel like I can't sit. I got to unbutton my pants. You can't wear baggy ones because they make you look fat. You can't wear tight ones because you can't move in them. Then they make these pants that are high-waisted and give you a double gut. Who the fuck came up with these ideas? Who? Who? Skinny bitches? Listen, ho. 90% of the fucking woman population got a fupa. And you're making jeans that show that shit off. Get off of that grass. It's dirty. You're, You're making shit that shows that shit off. Like, it's embarrassing for humanity. What is happening to the world? You ever try to bra on? Go try to be a fucking 38 triple D. Go try a bra on. Go ahead. <laughs> My titties are down to you. What is happening? Like, h- how long have you been making bras? How long y'all motherfuckers been making jeans and shit? You still can't come up with a concept of jeans? You can't take 10, 20 women with different shapes and bodies and fit them perfectly so we can all have something? <sighs> get the fuck out of here. I'm, you know, get the fuck away from me. Today is not the day. Listen, I'm calm. Thank God I'm a calm person. I'm telling you, thank God I'm a calm person. But I'm going to tell you right now. It's been a day. It's been a trying, testing. And let me tell another fucking thing. Am, I want to know, am I the only one? Am I the only one? I'm a sweatpants kind of girl too. And I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I know you got to get dressed nice and stuff. If you want to meet someone, you got to look nice and blah, blah, blah. But listen, man, I'm going to meet someone. I'm going to tell them straight out. I don't like getting dressed up. I'm not, a, I don't wear heels or dresses. I just don't, it don't look good on me. What do you want me to do? I can't force it. People, oh, but yeah, it's, it looks good on you, Flo. Listen, don't tell me because I know how I feel. I, I just feel like a, a very strong he woman in a dress. And it, it feels like a fucking... Uh, like a straight man trying to be a woman for a day. That's how I feel. That's just how I feel. I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's how I feel. Like I got a strong body. I wear heels and it's clonk, clonk, clonk. I mean, I look at women and they look pretty, but I'm always like, that bitch is mad uncomfortable right now. And I can't, you know, I just can't do it. I can't do I'm not going to, I can't fake the funk. I just, first of all, women were never supposed to have all these 
eyelashes extra shit i like my nails done and shit but like i'm looking at these demon nails like listen the demons are loving you guys right now those of you who have like long ass nails and those eyelashes that are flying to the sky listen man those demons are like look they're taking our style because <laughs> that's what they look like when i see them in the dreams they look like that that's what they look like you want to know the truth <laughs> whenever i visit the lower astral realms them bitches be dressed just the way these bitches are dressed today okay so if you, you tuned out, it's because you're one of them demons, and I really don't care. Come on, Luna. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Come on. Come on. Come on. He's mad. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I don't give a fuck what you say. I've been to the lower astrals, and I see it. The women look like those women. <laughs> Fucking talking about booty holes and brown assholes and vaginas and pink pussies and shit like that. Or whatever the fuck these hoes talk about today. Uh, meanwhile, their pussy stretched out like it's like a hot dog down the hallway. You could have the biggest dick in the world and it still fucking feels loose. I mean, get the fuck out of here. I'm not, I don't care. I don't care. Talk shit all you want. I don't care. I'm 41 years old and I got a tighter pussy than these 20 year olds today. It's just whatever. You know, I don't care anymore. I'm going to say what I'm going to say what I got to say. I'm going to tell you something. This is why it's very important right now for me to take this break because I'm looking at, I, don't listen, you guys know I'm mad real. And I'm looking at humanity right now in total disappointment. Like I said, when I went to Walmart, bitch, I'm looking at the reptilioids everywhere. And I'm just like, listen, because I love humans. I really, really love humans. See, hi, how are you? You see, I'm saying hi to the humans. Because I like, those are humans. Mexicans are humans. They're human beings. But I know reptilians when I see them, okay? Spanish people, humans. Black people, humans. White people, white, white, white people, not human, not human. Don't tell me. I know. I see through their demon eyes, okay? I see those fucking, I'm sorry, religious people, not human. They're not, they're not of this. And when I say not human, I mean they're in human form, but they're sure as hell wearing skin from somebody else. I don't care. Say whatever you want. I, I know. I see it all the time. I see it all the time. I see the reptilians. I see when someone thinks they're high and mighty and above everybody else and they stop their car in the middle of the road as if this is not a street and people don't need to drive. That's where I say I draw the line. Just because you got your own ambulance and your own fucking police. That doesn't you don't own this place, bitch. You are visiting Earth just like the rest of us. Don't get it twisted because your fucking God is a selfish piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you following an Anunnaki thinking that it's the holiest thing in the world. The fuck out of here. Hey, look. Look, how they, look how they act when there's, there's a dog. Look. Like, come the fuck. My dog don't want you, bitch. Get the fuck. Go serve your fucking reptilian god the fuck out of my face. Jesus Christ. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not. Listen. Who? If you don't agree with me, I get it. Go. We'll be like, Flo, you're tripping. I gotta go. This is... That's not right what you're saying, but you know what? I am right, and I know I'm right because when I get around a certain person or people and I feel like uh, something feels off, then I'm not crazy, dude. I feel it. I know. Like I said, when I went to Walmart, it's like you had like three or four people, humans out of like 100, and they're all just like drones. <laughs> shop, my shop, my shop, my shop. And you know what? I fell for the fucking scheme for a while, right? Yeah, exactly, Natasha. I fell for the scheme for a while. And guess what? I started doing all that shopping shit. Amazon and everything. Every day getting Amazon shit. Every day buying shit that I didn't need. I got a closet full of clothes with tags on them, yo. Yo, that shit, it, my, it boggles my mind how we get... You know how I know this is a tough place? And how we're getting tricked? Because I got tricked into it, man. I went through this whole, like just buying shit spending money i spent like 20 g's in a year that might not seem like a lot to people but it is a lot it's a lot of money that's a lot of money to spend in a year especially on on pretty much nothing you know okay granted i bought a lot of stuff that i invested for my future business when i open it i have everything i need for my talk show that i'm creating for my little um you know my my storefront whatever the fuck i'm gonna have i got everything i need i don't have to go shopping no more but i'm gonna tell you like this this is a message. When I say, like, I got to take a break for a week, you already know I'm going to be online here and there, blah, blah, blah. But I need a break. Like, I need to. Sometimes I feel like I got to get away, all right, from these streets like a fiend for crack. I just got to get away. And I don't even know. I'm look right now. I have, like, a, a G saved up. I have, like, you know, on the side, I put $1,000 away. I'm like, you know what? I might just go somewhere 
for like a few days, rent the hotel or something, not Airbnbs. I don't even trust those things no more. I don't trust them. Not all the cameras and the Airbnbs and all these perverts and these fucking freakazoids and their freaky freakiness. Like, I can't do it, man. I can't. We got to, you know, this is a world like you used to be able to go places, enjoy yourself. Now you got to watch everything and everyone. You got to watch. Yeah. And that, you know, and now that, that gene got saved because I gave that shit to my brother. I was like, hold this shit down because I know me. I got a thousand dollars. I'm going to be like, mm, let me just say once I spend a hundred, once you spend a hundred out of a thousand just say goodbye to the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you spend $100. I don't smoke weed, man. I can't. I can't. It makes me paranoid. It makes me worse. Actually, I start seeing... Every, I think everybody's staring at me. The world looks crazy. I feel... I'm, I hear voices even more. And I can't, you know? From Rikers. What's up, boo-boo? How you doing? How's Rikers over there? You know what's funny? Jail was actually a nice break for me. I'm not saying that I want to go back to jail, but for me, that was a vacation. Because at that time, I was working my ass off, going from one place to another, just fucking bugging out, bugging out. Now I feel like I can, you know, say that about jail, that if I didn't take that break in that jail at that one time, I probably would have still been in these streets. Wow. And so thank you, jail, for changing my life. Yeah, I can't with the weed, bro. Say hi to everybody in Rikers for us, man. We love you guys. Stay strong. Stay up, you know. Keep your head up. How long you got in there? You need to embrace pain. Oh, I've embraced pain my whole life. I don't embrace pain. I think I just need to take a break is what I need because I work really hard. I work hard, bro. I work hard for my money. Every day I'm working, hustling, grinding, doing this, doing that. You know what I'm saying? I work really fucking hard and I don't give myself a break, you know? I love you too. Yeah, you do need to embrace pain or pain will follow you. You know, I, I've accepted a lot of things in life, but one thing that we're, one thing I keep hearing over and over and over again is we have to take care of ourselves. Healers, healers, light workers, all of you. You are so busy. Okay, even the, the guy who's in jail right now. Let me tell you right now. It's all right. I'm just taking one day at a time, craving chopped cheese and a Pepsi right now. I know. I wish there was a way to sneak food into to prisons. I once snuck weed into a jail before. <laughs> And I was like 19 and I didn't even know what I was doing, bro. I was so nervous. But because I guess because I was a white girl, they saw, they saw me like, this white bitch ain't doing shit. And I was, and I was like, hi, which way do I go? That way? I was trying to act real like innocent because that's not how I talk. <laughs> so I was like, can I go? Do I go that way? And she was like, uh, yeah, you can go ahead. She didn't check my bra. She didn't check my shoe. Nothing. She, they, the other bitches, they were tearing their shit apart, taking their shoelaces off. She went like this to me. Go ahead. I was like, okay. And I went in, I sat down, and he's talking to me, and I took the weed out of my coochie, and I passed it to him under the table. It was too easy. I got to say, it was very easy. They used to bring shit to me. Oh, that's nice. And uh, we always have, like, you know, I wish for everybody to be happy, man. That's all I want. You guys to be just as happy. But I will tell you something. This is a message. All you healers out there, man, you got to take time for yourself. And when I say healers, I'm not talking about, oh, you, you work in an office as a healer. I'm talking about those of you who are healing people every day, somehow or another. You go to work, you help this person. You're at home, you do everything for everybody. You take care of your kid. You do this, you do that. Just clear it, clear it. You know, it's stressful, especially if you don't know how to take a break. Some of us are not, we don't know how to take breaks. That's the problem. That's the problem, bro. We don't know how to take breaks. And we, we think that because we're always trying to get oh, Holy shit, bro. Girl, she took my whole damn phone. <laughs> this bitch took my whole phone with her. Um, you know, we, we don't know how to take breaks. And this is why maybe there's a reason why I'm posting. I'm going to take a break because some of y'all need to hear that. Time to take a break. Okay. Yeah. So when I say I'm recovering, mm -hmm, when I'm saying I'm recovering, I'm not sick. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm completely healthy. However, like my body's like flow. I need you to go somewhere. Take a break for a few days. Like go by the beach, sit by the water, you know, do something. Yeah. We have to prioritize. Hey, this is the biggest message you're going to hear today. I don't care where you are in life, what you're doing. You know, like I was saying, even the kid in jail. Why do you think he went to jail? Guarantee you he was trying to make money to pay for somebody's bills or help somebody out. That's how it is because we, we're the providers. I, I'm the provider. I don't know about the rest of you, but if you're watching me and you, you fuck with me, then you're a provider too. And you like, you're a hustler too. And you don't take a fucking break. You don't take a breather. And so here you are running yourself to the ground, 
you're tired, you're stressed the fuck out, you're done with this shit, it's too much to do, and I saw number, th didn't we see third, three, three, three before, and now again, 33, I mean, this is like, you're, oh, oh, I'm hearing this very strongly, I just got cut off as I was thinking, you are being led to your purpose, that's what's going on, that's why spirit got you, okay guys, make a wish, make a wish, hold on Luna, wait, make a wish, You ready? You ready? Okay, we have to do it all in one breath, okay? Oh, it's gonna come true. A couple of them left there, but that means it's gonna take a, a slight bit of time, but not longer than one, two, three, three months, three, three months, three weeks, three months, three days for some of you. Four, four weeks, four months, four days. So you just got your dream, your your wishes coming true, but we gotta take that break, man. I just wanna go, like to Brooklyn or to like the Bronx or somewhere, and just go to like one of those cafes, sit back, relax, you know, buy a coffee, sit back, you know, chill, eat something good and delicious, and just enjoy my day. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to do right now. My wish is that I hope God bless me with a special woman like yourself when I get out of the joint. And guess what? That's exactly what you'll get then if that's your wish. And if you get a woman like me, congratulations, because woo, I'm a good one. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us are a good one. I'm not I'm not trying to gas my own head up. But I am a good woman, man. I'm fucking too good sometimes. Too good and sometimes I get like, you know, it gets it. Walk. Why I gotta throw you around like you're a rag doll. I'm too good and that's what come on, no no no. We gotta go this way. This way. Where you go? Where you wanna go? That's a hill, a big fat hill. Come on. Come to mama, I'll hold you. You okay? You okay? You tired now? Let me hold you for a second. You know, and I'm seeing Stone Gate right here. It says Stone Gate Drive. I'm from Brooklyn, Brownsville. Oh, that's what's up. No, you guys are awesome. I love you. Listen, man, I'm going to tell you like this. I just want you guys to know when I say take a fucking break, take a fucking break. Because, you know, between this little monkey, my daughter, my mother, my work... I'm just going, 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 going from the morning. My mom, go to the store and get milk. My daughter, mommy, can we go to Starbucks? Mommy, I'm hungry. My dog, ruff, 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 walk me. You know what I'm saying? Clean the house, do the laundry, get online, do work. It's a lot, you know, and I'm not a lazy person, but sometimes I'm like, bitch, slow down. I don't know how I'm this fat. I should be this skinny from all the shit I do. Stonegate is my old street in Cali. You're my favorite ever. I love you, baby guys. I love you, baby guys. So I want to tell you guys, and when I say I'm going to take a break, I'm going to see you later. That doesn't mean I'm going to be like, oh, fuck you. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm still going to post shit and all that. And I'll post throughout the week. Hopefully you guys see a video of me sitting by the beach and relaxing because I need it. Spain. Gio, I'm going to come to Spain. You're going to show me around. I want to go to one of those flam the flamingo dancers. Did I say that right? From flamingo, because I don't want to. Yeah, I love that. And I want to, like, you know, take shots of of uh, tequila or whatever. I don't know what they drink in Spain, but I want to take slowly because I get drunk fast. And then we're going to have to go look for cocaine. I'm just, <laughs> just joking. I'm probably not joking, though. Don't let me get too drunk. Because I'm like, no, we must find cocaine. I, that's why I don't drink. This is why I don't drink or do drugs because I'm crazy. So And I know that, you know. Yeah, I'm about to go to be to the beach in Spain, right? I mean, with a thousand dollars, I gotta think of something local, <laughs> you know? Think of something very local. Maybe I'll go to like, maybe Atlantic City. Ah, I don't really like the vibes there, cause then I'll go gamble, cause I'm, you know, which one of us is gonna go to Atlantic City and not go sit at the poker table and play? You know, I am. <laughs> right away you know yes Gio really when I come to Spain I'll go you know I really am happy and excited to travel but I'm just waiting for my daughter like to grow up a little bit more you know because like I said those of us who are single mothers and fathers we know what it's like we hardly get time to ourselves and I don't wish to be away from my daughter ever like I'm never like god I wish I was no because then you know be careful what you wish for because god forbid you know so let's go, BK. Let's go. I want to go. Like, I want to stay. I want to do, like, from, like, 6 o'clock until, like, maybe 2 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? And then just chill. Like, go home. Relax. Like, 
you know, especially if I'm chilling with a guy, like one thing, and I'm not talking to you, I'm, ta- I'm saying this for the ladies, you know, you want to go out, you want to have a drink or two, get a little tipsy and chill, and you don't want to have that pressure. First of all, I'm not just going to have sex with somebody when I go out, because I got to take a whole shower, wash my ass. It's a lot of work, okay? I, <laughs> I shave when it's like mandatory, okay? Like, I'm going to need assistance shaving my cooch, because... I can't see because of my boobs, not because of my stomach. Look, God, can you see my vagina? No. <laughs> I got to be like, <laughs> uh, okay, you know what I'm saying? My titties would be all up in my way. You could be talking with no action. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking with no action. What's the best day to go? I don't even like going out on weekends because broke people go out on weekends. <laughs> Broke people go out on weekends. That's a fact. <laughs> because everybody's off for work. And I want to go out on a weekday. That's the motherfuckers who don't care. Because they don't. They'll, ladies, here's a secret. Here's a secret, ladies. Men who go out on like Tuesdays and Wednesday nights, right? Um, like celebrities say Monday or Tuesday nights are the nights to go out. Because it's where like people who have like, who make money in other ways than going to like a nine to five and are not stressed out like that. They got the money like that. I swear to God. I'm telling you, weekdays are the best days to go out. First of all, the older crowd is out on weekdays. You know, the, the kids ain't out on weekdays. I don't definitely don't want to step into a place and I see 25-year-olds like, bitch, fuck out of here. <laughs> you know? And plus, I got to go somewhere where I'm allowed to wear, like, my sneakers. And obviously, I'll dress cute. But I just, or, like, I could wear, like, you know, because my tits, I can't wear high heels, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I feel like I'm toppling over, like, yeah, you know, like a Jenga and shit. Jenga titties. Yeah, that's a great tip. I'm telling you. And ladies, if you want to meet men, Home Depot in the morning is lit. First of all, mad cuties go there. And you'll know. They'll like they have a wedding ring on, first of all. And then you'll be like, you know, I'll be like, hey, excuse me, can you help me with something? You know, like look cute and go out to, go to Home Depot. That's a good tip. And also, also um cigar shops, like cigar, um, you know those cigar bars where they sit outside and they, they smoke their cigars and stuff like that. Those are great places to meet, like, really good-looking guys. And I'm not really the one looking for guys with money, but, you know, that's where they be at. They be in places like that, like nice restaurants and cigar bars and stuff. But, you know, like I said, I'm not here to look for a man with money, but I don't want no broke bitch either. I don't want to have to feel like I have to pay for shit and, like, we're in high school again. Unless your dick is really, really good. (laughs) I'll pay for a meal or two. (laughs) Unless you got that kind of dick that I cry at the end of it. Which is like a rare occurrence, like seeing a unicorn. I once cried during sex. <laughs> it was so good. But he was, he wanted to cry, but he was like, yeah, man. We just sat there like staring at the wall like, wow. Too bad we didn't like each other in that way because we would have made some good babies. But, you know, we didn't like each other like that. Past sex, we was not feeling each other. Like he would talk and I'm like, oh, God, shut up. <laughs> Stop talking. And he would, I bet he said the same thing about me. Oh, stop it. Sorry, sorry. Luna, not you barking at babies. You shut your mouth. Bitch. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> she thinks she's dumb. I'm walking by. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah. <laughs> You're giving me life right now. Listen, guys. It, I mean, you know, here's the crazy thing. I wanted to throw a party, right? And do like a, a match.com type of party, right? And be like, but what I wanted to do though, I'm not just gonna invite anybody. It will have to be like you pre um, reserve the party. So, like, I'll charge like 40 bucks, which is a first of all, if they can't pay $40 for a party, I don't want them there. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be able, they, they gotta be able to afford $40. Because if they don't come to a $40 party, that means they ain't got the money to do that. And if they don't have $40 and you're in trouble, you're driving and you're like, babe, I need $30, like, you gotta have at least. Four thousand dollars on standby, just in case there's an emergency. Yeah, Luna, come, cause the grass is dirty. Luna, come, come on, baby, come on, come on. Good girl, walk, 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 baby, walk. Let's go walk. You know, isn't that the truth? Like, and I'm, I'm saying that with love and light in my heart. You know, I make sure I keep something stashed away. I'm not trying to get. Listen, I'll just put it this way: when people are in trouble in my family, guess what they call? <laughs> Flo to the rescue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, but. But if everybody, all you guys were near New York, BK, I'm going to hit you up. I'll give you my number, actually, because DMs and shit. I'll hit you up, and we'll go chilling. 
We'll go to Brooklyn or whatever the fuck. We'll go. I'm going to um, to get my teeth done. Hopefully they do it like overnight, you know, because they're pulling out like several teeth because I want new teeth. I don't want these teeth no more. They get on my nerves. Like I'm, they're sensitive. They hurt. So they're going to pull it. Oh, God, I don't even want to think about that bill. But they're going to pull these all out. You got a pretty cool cat. That's a dog. <laughs> but she looks, she looks like a cat and she acts like one. Come on, baby. He's over there. Slippy. Dumas. Oh, she sees she sees her friend, the Pitbull. She loves that Pitbull. That's her friend. Um, yeah, so I'm getting my teeth done, so I gotta go to that. It's fucking mad far in Mon Montclair, New Jersey. It's like an hour away. <laughs> she looks like a cat. But it's gonna be worth it because, um, you know, they do like overnight um, implants. And I, I can't wait till my grill is done. You guys don't understand. I have not smiled normally in like two years, bro. Because, you know, this tooth got pulled out, you know what I'm saying? And I just have not smiled. Hold on, Luna, wait, wait, wait. This tooth got pulled out on the side and I have not smiled normally for the longest time. She wants to say hi to her friend. She wants to say hi. Luna, careful, easy. Good girl. Good girl, Bella. Good girl. Luna, relax. No social skills. All right, good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. Look how she's spinning. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, baby. I know you get excited. <laughs> Thank you for letting her say hi. Thank you. I know you love her. She loves her. My goodness. You love Bella? You do. I never saw you go so crazy. Relax. Take a deep breath. Look how she's breathing. <laughs> she is. Oh, you meant like that cat? Oh, my kitty cat down there? Okay. My kitty cat down there? <laughs> Stop it. So, yeah, I haven't smiled normally in a long time, so I can't. Um, thank you. That's the thing. Um, I always say, like, there's these girls that, like, I know, and they're, you know, they're chubby like me. Like, we're not fat. Like, bro's fat. Well, ooh. <laughs> she used to when I talk shit. No, no, I didn't mean like that. You know what I mean? Like, sloppy. You know what I'm talking about. Even there's big girls that dress nice. They look nice. I'm like, damn, she look good as hell. But you know those like, other bitches that be, like, fat as fuck, and they be wearing like cut off shirts and they're like blah, blah, i'm fucking fly no no you're not <laughs> you see that a lot in walmart put it this way love and light i don't mean to be mean but it's just the truth so what i'm saying is the girls that i know that be like me javante um the girls like me that be like big girls but we got pretty faces like the kind of face you could wake up to like mm -hmm. <laughs> wait we don't we're, i'm not gonna change over like you're not gonna wake up and i'm gonna be a totally different person you're gonna see the same girl same face <laughs> you know but yeah, when I go out now, I've decided like I'm going to get my eyelashes done and do this and do that. No, I'm not going to do readings tonight, guys. I was supposed to do the herbalism classes tonight, but Spirit was. First of all, I paid for those classes for everybody to join them. So I'm going to give it a second, take a break. For like a few days, I'm going to probably go somewhere. Yes, Javante. Yes. Javante, you're doing good with the music and all that. Keep it up, babe. I'm so proud of you, man. So proud of you. It's like a mama watching her bear cub just go out and flourish into the world. But like, you know, I'm very proud of you. But um, it's, we got to take this break. And I don't know where I'm going to go for a few days, but I'm trying to figure it out. Somewhere beachy. For, I think for a G, I could go for like three days, four days somewhere, right? Pretty sure. I haven't really been away for a while. Sit, baby. You're tired? Haven't really been away for a while. She's tired. Are you so tired? Oh. Come on, I hold you. Come on, I know. Oh, there you go. I'll hold you. She's like an infant. Yo, don't ever get a small dog unless you're ready to raise a baby. Come on. Unless you're ready to raise a baby because that's what this is like. It's like having a brand new baby. I'm not kidding. I was expecting it to be tough, but whew. She's, she's a hell of a work, bro. Right? You think, Natasha, I could find somewhere for a few days, right? Well, I, I, I have my car, so I'm thinking I can go somewhere where I could drive. Even if it's like a four or five hour trip. Take the trip. Go somewhere. Like maybe look at an Airbnb lakeside. Like, listen, hey, I would love for somebody to join me. I really would. But like, what am I going to do? Go online and be like, who wants to come with me? You know, applications ready. I don't know who the fuck to trust to bring with me. I don't want to have, like, you know, I love hanging out with guys. It's one of my favorite things ever. I just don't like feeling the pressure to fuck, you know, unless I'm like, yo, let's fuck, you know, like, we, we, I don't like guys who are like, 
they come somewhere and they think because you invited them. I'm not that type of person. Like, I wouldn't treat you that way. Don't treat me that way. You know what I'm saying? Because if I give you head, you're going to want to marry me. And I don't got time for that right now. <laughs> no, I do for somebody I love. You feel me? Yeah. But I'm just saying, guys, you know, these poor kids out here today, they're not getting no socializing. I feel so bad for them. I feel bad for my daughter. Today I yelled at her. Her room was a mess. Almost had a heart attack. She had all these bottles under her bed. Doesn't Okay, is that normal for teenagers to do that? She's 12, but she's past 12. Like she, The girl thinks she's like 17, 18. Is that normal for kids to do that? Like throw shit under their bed like that? Because I, I was a neat freak growing up, so I can't compare it to me. Take that. Take two of that. Take two of that. I love you. Yeah, I love guys, man. They guys, guys are fun to hang out with. They don't talk shit. They're not gossipy. They're, they don't have drama in their life, really, unless they have drama in their life. But, you know, even gay guys, they're the same. They may be gay, but the gay men that I know, no drama. They just want to have fun and go out and just enjoy themselves. My kid's child around that age is lazy. It'll probably change within a couple of years. Okay. Okay. Oh, you did that with water bottles? My mom wouldn't pay the cable bill if I did that. Yeah, Tyler. I know, Taylor. Yes, my ex's son had stuff everywhere in his room. Wait, baby, wait, no, 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 no. Say hi. Hello. How are you? So cute. See, my tooth. I don't even want to. I get embarrassed when, when you guys see my tooth, bro. That's so embarrassing. But, you know, it's a makeover. When you turn 40, if you, because I hate the dentist. I actually cannot stand the dentist. So wherever I go, I'm going to need him to put my ass, like, halfway asleep. Because I don't, I don't like getting my teeth pulled and shit. That shit is, do you know that? You know why? Because, Okay. Some, some lady told me this. She said, if you're, because you're, you don't like getting your teeth pulled at the dentist, why? And I told her why. Manhattan. Speaking of Manhattan, I should come over there too. Um, the lady told me that if you, you know, when you get your teeth pulled, like you, you feel like you're feeling and hearing everything and just like, mm, 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 you know what I'm talking about? That feeling, like you can feel and sense everything they're doing. Some lady told me because maybe in a past life you got tortured that way. Like they pulled your teeth out. I was like, oh shit. Maybe that's why. Happy to help with dental questions before you go if you need families. And then, oh, Jade, are you kidding me? What your family? Where are they at? What state? What state? Because I need to go get these implants. You see? You see this? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you this one guy I went to this dentist. He did a hack job on me, and it turns out he got fired, and like the board went after him after I fucking saw him. Come on, Luna, let's go. And I knew it. I felt it. You know, my energy was like, yo, there's something don't feel right about this motherfucker. And I went there, and he drilled my teeth, this tooth, this tooth, and now they're cracking. They're, I'm not kidding. It's so bad. In Australia? Fuck it. I'll take the trip out there if it's cheaper. I was going to go to Turkey, but, you know. Even my country, Albania. Albania will be a good place to get my teeth done. Maybe just because you're HSP. What does that mean, HSP? Hus hospitable? No. HSP in general. Yeah, it's so weird. It is. All right, it's about to rain, guys. All right, so I love you. Listen to me. Take your time. Rest. I'll see you guys through the week. If I go somewhere tomorrow or the next day and I put myself in a little hotel or shit, I will, um, you know, go live and stuff like that. But the the herbalist classes will be main second, and maybe I'll do a Zoom class on Friday or something. But I need, like, three days to myself, at least four days. But for now, I love you guys. Take time to rest, okay, please? Take time to rest. The grass looks so pretty. I love you. I thought you were Puerto Rican. I know a lot of people thought that my whole life. I love you guys. We'll see you guys, all right? You bad motherfucker. <laughs> see, only a bad motherfucker knows a bad motherfucker, so. Hey, bad motherfucker. <laughs> okay, come on, mama. Come on, it's gonna rain. It's raining. I'll see you guys later, okay? Love you. See you later. Take care. Take care. Love and light to you guys. It's about to start busting out and rain out here. So for now, my loves, bye, PW, line guy. Let me see you. Am I following you? I am following you. I am following you. Bye, baby. See, you're my type with the beard and stuff like that. That's my type of guy. I like me a, a, a guy that looks like he rides tractors and, and a truck, you know? I like guys like that. Manly men. The real man. All right, guys. I'll see you later. I love you. I love you guys. I'll see you.
Live in light. We'll come back, okay? Come back. Don't miss me too much. And don't forget about me or I'll kill everyone you. I'm saying. All right, ouch. I'll see you later. December's greatest. Where you been? I gotta go to the store and get my cigarette things to roll my own cigarettes. What? See what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. I went to take a break. I'm going to say, you know what my mom just did? The garbage goes out tonight. It's like, oh my fucking God. I'm everybody's fucking slave in this house. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Love you. Eric, I miss you. I haven't seen you in a while. I'll see you later. Okay, guys, let me go. Take the garbage out. <laughs> Bye.